Good morning, children. Good morning, teacher Carla. Today, I am going to read a Bible story about Prophet Elijah and the wicked king. After Solomon died, his kingdom split into two. The kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Both kingdoms were sometimes ruled by good kings, sometimes very bad. King Ahab was one of the very bad kings of Israel. He married a wicked woman called Jezebel and did many things God said were wrong. <coughs> Elijah was one of God's special messengers, who the Bible calls prophets. He told what God taught about them. God sent Elijah the prophet to teach Ahab a lesson. Ahab, king of Israel, said Elijah, God says, because you have done so much wrong, it will not reign in your kingdom for many years. <coughs> this made Ahab angry. King Ahab was so angry, he wanted to harm Elijah. So Elijah ran away to hide in the desert. There he lived alone beside a tidy stream. He drank its pure, flowing water. But Elijah could find nothing to eat away in the desert. He asked God to feed him. <laughs> so God sent Elijah big black birds called ravens, carrying bread for him in, the, in their beaks. In this way, the prophet always had enough to eat. But there was so little rain that one day, the, the stream dried up. <clears throat> Now Elijah had nothing to drink. What was he to do now? I will show you where to find food and drink. God told him, start walking. On the road you will meet a woman. You must ask this woman to give you food. Elijah set off just as God told him. And, and as God has said, on the way he met the woman. Can he spare me some food? Elijah asked politely, <laughs> but I only have, but I have only enough food for one last meal for me and my son. The woman told him, "Cook something for me first. Elijah said to the woman, "If you do so, there will still be enough for you and your son." <coughs> the woman did as he told her. <coughs> she cooked a meal for Elijah and then prepared food for her son and herself. Elijah stayed with the woman and her son, and from that day, the woman and her son never went without food. After three whole years without rain, God spoke to Elijah, Now go back and see King Ahab again. So Elijah left the woman's house and went to the royal palace. It's you, is it Elijah? said the king. How dare you come to my palace? You brought nothing but trouble to my kingdom. Rubbish, said Elijah. It's you, Ahab, who, brought, who has brought all the trouble to your kingdom. You have done so many wrong things that God has punished you and your people. It's your fault that there's been no rain. The king glowed. But in his heart, he knew that Elijah was right. Now let's have a contest. Elijah went on. Let's find out whose God is real. Your God, Baal, or my God, the living God. Ahab agreed. So they went to a hill called Mount, Mount Carmel to set things up for the competition. <coughs> Ahab's prophets ran around collecting stones to build an altar for their God, Baal. And Elijah found just the right stones to build an altar for his God. Then the contest began. began. The king's prophets placed offerings on their altar. They prayed for fire from heaven. They expected their God to set fire to burn up the sacrifice. But nothing happened. The king's prophets screamed at their God Baal, but no fire came. Elijah teased them. Pray louder, he called. Perhaps your god's asleep and can't hear. 
They shouted even louder, but still nothing happened. At last they gave up. But now, by now, it was evening. Elijah placed an offering on his altar and poured water over it. To make it difficult to catch fire, then he prayed, God in heaven, set fire on my altar. And fire came! It burned up the offering, the stones, and even the water. Now the people of Israel knew that Elijah's God was the living God. <clears throat> and God set free to Israel at last. After all the law, after all the long dry years. But King Ahab and his horrible wife, Queen Jezebel, still wanted to have Elijah killed. He had to run away again to the desert. When he got there, he felt so tired he lay down and fell fast asleep. Someone tapped Elijah on his shoulder. He looked up startled. Had, Abel's, had Ahab's soldiers caught him? No, it was an angel who had come to feed him. Go and find a man named Elisha, said the angel. He will help you and continue your work after you've gone. Elijah was no longer on his own. He was to have a helper. You can find the story in 1 Kings chapter 16 to 19. It's question and answer time. First question. Who was the wicked king? Me! Me! Yes, this guy? King Ahab! Correct! Next question! Who was King Ahab's wife? Me! Me! Yes, Sarah? Jezebel! Correct! Last question! What was the name of the carved image Israel worshipped? Me! Me! Yes, Spot? Bam! Now the lesson of the story is to worship the only true God from heaven, but not the idols on earth. Thanks for watching and God bless! Make sure to like, subscribe, and, and share this video with your friends! Bye!